Good evening everyone, welcome back to Greybeard Zoning. It's Thursday the 7th of September 2023. Welcome back to Anfield. Raina Rowan, the contractor that's going to be continuing and finishing this stand. If you like what you see, click like, share, subscribe. Let's get the drone up. And welcome back everyone, we're back airborne and it's Thursday night, probably only got like 10-15 minutes of sunlight left, so I need to hurry up with this. Yeah, it's been reported today, Rainer Rowan Construction are going to be finishing off Anfield Road Stand. So in the next couple of days, you're going to get to see more and more workers making their way back on site. There has been a handful on site today. But all that's been done, of what I can see, is the whole of the barrier there has all been changed. There's not a single Buckingham anywhere to be seen. It's all plain red. So that's been changed. It's the first thing I noticed when I was walking past all the way around. It's just plain red. And if I go a little bit higher, I'm going to carry on. eyes on site. Nothing else has changed outside. All those supplies for LCC when they can continue are still there. So let's carry on across. The workers entrance has been moved and I'm going to show you where that is now. Right there. I don't know who that is. Is that a probably security probably checking everywhere. So that's been moved. So we'll check back tomorrow and see what is what if there's work, workers on site. I'm expecting it to just be a handful to start with because they've got to assess what needs to be done. Time frame and everything else we'll probably find out also later on. And what's also been reported is yet yeah, similar workers who have been on the other construction team. Buckingham will be joining Raina Rowan also to help out all the ones who have not found work yet. Hopefully we'll see you back on site very soon in the next few days. I'm just going to have a quick look over the, the pitch. I'm not expecting any changes yet. They've just got to assess, assess the situation of Anfield Road outer and how it's looking inside so they know what needs to be done internally externally seating wise corner wise and obviously Anfield Road itself all the paving and slabbing will be LCC it's just fantastic now that we can finally get working again on the stand and get it finished as soon as possible None of us in there. None, none of us are going to know the date until it's all been assessed. But the waiting is over. Finally, we can crack on and let Raina Rowan do their job. They worked at Anfield before, a couple of times, I believe. I think they've been linked with the Superstore, haven't they? And the Cop Bar, was it? I think they're the two jobs. Where they've been back at Anfield before. They have had experience on the stand before. Was it Saracens, was it? They worked there, I believe. So I just can't wait to get back doing daily updates or every other day and have a look what's going on. Is that security there? Or is that a workers? Oh, I'm not sure to be fair what that is. It's normally the security are outside the perimeter. But I did see a car earlier that had a dog unit inside, so I'm not sure to be fair. Obviously, we, we, we're never going to expect to see 
changes today. Today was just a handful of workers on site, moving the workers entrance, changing the barrier and probably going around the site assessing what needs to be done. That's probably what today was all about. Tomorrow, maybe numbers will be a bit more. I'm not sure if we're going to find out tomorrow anything new, time scale wise, but I'm going to drop down a little bit more. I'm a bit too high to be fair, I'm like 100 metres up, which is... Yeah, I think that, that dog car's gone now. No, it's not, it's that black car. It's still there. That's what the dog unit came in. And so hopefully LCC can start doing their thing on this half of Anfield Road also, where all that tarmac is. Especially at the back. I'm not sure, I'm not expecting them to need many more supplies before. There's a lot there to be cracking on with. But like I said in last night's video, it's probably internally that's the biggest jobs to be done. Everything else I've mentioned, like the cladding, the odd bit of brickwork and the panels. And it shouldn't take rain or rowing too much time to do. It's a little bit of repair work still on the insides. I don't know if you can make it out there. I'm not going to go in too close. Not when there's guys on underneath. Go down a little bit more to about 50. It looks like I'm close to them trees, but I'm actually not. You can see a couple of holes now on that upright section. They're just little cosmetic jobs, aren't they? Them guys having a meeting of some sort. Yeah, it's a dog war. Yeah, he's got the dog with him, hasn't he? Couldn't see the dog before. It's fair enough, we'll let them carry on patrolling and guarding the site. So there we have it. Anfield Road Stand is going to be completed by Rainer Rowan. I'm guessing they're taking over this site as their base also. It's all ready for them. And still being guarded. I'll come back tomorrow and have a look. I'm going to head over to Preston tomorrow to do my, my next stadium flyover. So I'll jump on the X2, go over to Preston. And then after Preston, I'll come straight to Anfield and see what's going on. So that's the update for today, guys. Anfield Road stand is going to get completed. Hopefully we'll, we'll know some kind of date they're hoping to get it done by. It's going to be impossible to say today, of course. Papers have been releasing the news. So I've just come out tonight to release my part. It's going to be great to see workers back on site. It's going to be even more great to see the ones who have not been in work since Buckingham for three weeks now, three weeks, back on site also. If you like what you saw, click like, share, subscribe. See you for the next one all. Take care now.